Hi everybody, welcome to the new school year. It's Mrs. Bueller in the computer lab. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mrs. Ann Bueller. I started St. Mary's School in 1994, and in 1996, I started the technology program at St. Mary. I have my Bachelor of Science from Miami University. I have 18 hours of curriculum and design from the University of Cincinnati. I have a master's from Xavier University, and I have a special endorsement for K through 12 for technology and computers from The Ohio State University. I've been in charge of technology at St. Mary's School since 1996, so if you have a tech question, I'm probably your contact person. An important thing to know about me is I love to help everybody. If you ever have a question, you can always email me at a-b-u-e-h-l-e-r at smshp.com. I look forward to hearing from you. The nicest part of St. Mary's Technology Program is Mrs. Wall. Hi, Mrs. Wall. Hi, Mrs. Bueller. I'm uh, Mrs. Bueller's aide for the computer lab, and the best part of my day is that I meet with each one of the children. I love them all so excited to be back in school, to have the junior high kids in the computer lab and to be teaching them technology again. It promises to be a great year. I teach students in grades six through eight at St. Mary. They come to computer lab most of the time, twice a week, and we do many exciting, fun things. We create movies, we do 3D printing, we get really, really, really great at keyboarding. We are learning a lot about Teams this year, and we've even done our first assignment on Teams, and we use Form to create a student um, inventory. The last couple of years, we've combined programming and STEAM activities with 3D printing. I only hope to get back to some of that this year. Last year, the eighth graders had chariot races, where they programmed their Sphero Minis to go around a racetrack and to race one another. They created their chariots with the 3D printer. One year, we even made solar ovens. As often as possible, I like to combine STEAM activities in the computer lab. I'm going to walk you around just for a few minutes to show you we have our cleaning station. As you walk into the classroom, when you go out into the hallway, you can see that we still plan to do many fun activities like 3D printing and keyboarding and word clouds and all kinds of fun and exciting things this year. We hope to get back to some of our old favorite projects, but for right now, we're not, we're, our classrooms or my classroom is really the teacher's classrooms. We could get a few more of these plexiglass carols made. We could actually bring the students to the computer lab. If any of your parents have expertise in that, please let me know. All of the St. Mary Junior High students have Office 365 accounts. That's where Teams is housed. This year, we're also going to spend a great deal of time on Class Notebook. When your child logs into Office 365, it should look similar to this. This is where you'll find Teams and Class Notebook. I've already assigned two assignments, and this is what it will look like. Class Notebook is right here up on the menu. Assignments are right here. At the beginning of the year, we will be spending a lot of time learning teams so the kids are prepared if we ever have to go to remote learning. They'll learn Class Notebook for the first time this year. Some people, students, have already put things in their Class Notebook. Some of the teachers have used it also. But we want to make sure all the students are comfortable with it before we start using it exclusively. Teachers in the junior high spent a lot of time learning teams and also Class Notebook so we could use it with our teachers if we ended up having to go to remote learning. Also, the younger grades have adopted a platform called Seesaw. Those teachers also spent a great deal of time learning that platform so they could use it with their students. Here's an example of the Seesaw app that the children in grades K through five will be using this year. Along with all that learning, I spent the entire summer at St. Mary's School updating all the computers to Windows 10 and also getting ready for our one-to-one -one initiative. One of the students this week asked me, what is a one-to-one -one initiative? It means where each student has his or her own tablet. The students in grades K through four are going to be using fire tablets. We now have 306 configured fire tablets. Fire tablets look like this. The kindergartners are purple and they're just a little bit bigger than the ones in one through four. The junior high will be using the Lenovo ThinkPad tablets. I'd like to take a moment to reassure all of you that while the junior high students are sharing tablets, we are cleaning them in between every single usage. We 
Use alcohol wipes because that is what is recommended for technology. This summer, St. Mary upgraded all of its Wi-Fi. Thanks to the PTO, they also got new laptops in their classrooms for teaching students with the smart boards. Along with Office 365 and doing 3D printing and doing keyboarding and all the other cool projects that we do, including movie making, well, another thing we'll be doing this year is having Flex Fridays. Flex Fridays is where I get the opportunity to be with some and eighth graders to do something fun and different. It's called Flex Fridays because it's flexible. We can kind of do what we want. Loving one another means digital citizenship. It's all a part of it. It's all a part of being a community. One other thing that we talk about is digital citizenship and the responsible use of technology. This is a form that came home. Each of your students needs to sign this and you need to sign it also. Please take a few minutes to discuss this policy with your children, whether it's for remote learning or learning at St. Mary. Once again, if there are any parents who would like to help us make some of these plexiglass carols, please contact me. I'd love to hear from you. Another change in junior high computer class is that students in junior high earn grades. I'm thrilled to be with your students this year. Try to remember, wash your hands, wear your mask, social distance, and learn something new every day. If you ever need any help, please be sure to call me or email me at a b u e h l e r at s m s h p dot com. God bless you, and let's make it the best year yet. Stay flexible. Until we see each other again, just remember, you're amazing just the way you are. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you.